It's arrived. I can't wait to show you. Hi, my name is Gail Sibley. I'm an artist and instructor and inside this box is my very own box of pastels. A Gail Sibley set of unison color pastels. I can't wait to show you and I'm really excited to see it because you know how it feels when you see a brand new box of untouched pastels. It's so exciting and I've been using, um, my pastels have been worn down as I have been developing this set. So I've been painting probably for the past couple of years to hone down what's going to go in this set. So I've painted all sorts of things to make sure that you could paint anything using this set of pastels. So let's go have a look at what's inside. All right, here's the box. Let's get it open. Unfortunately, <laughs> sadly, we've got peanuts. So I'm just going to get rid of these and then come back. The box. All right, let's get her open. Okay, great little card to ask you to join their list so that you don't miss anything. Like my blog is on there telling a little bit about the background history of this. Um, it tells you a little bit how to care for your pastels. It's kind of cool. Keep them clean, how to store them, break them. <laughs> All of these good things. That's great. I love that. All right, let's have a look. <sighs> ah, yes. And there they are. This is, <laughs> this is like two years plus work to decide on these colors. And, you know, I feel like maybe <laughs> there could have been others. Maybe I should, you know, whatever. But then there comes a time when you just need to stop and make that commitment. And I'm really happy with this set of pastels. Now the thing, I'll just tell you a little bit about this. I really wanted this set to be able to paint everything and anything, which is why it took me so long to, it. I painted many things using most of the colors in this set. Some were added a little bit later along the line, but I had a sort of core. What I wanted though too was I wanted to have colors that were had values, like a darker, a middle and a light value. And I also wanted some cools and warms. So for instance, in the greens, I wanted a sort of set of cooler greens and a set of warmer greens. So three cooler and four warmer. Same with the blues. I wanted, of course, the, the cooler blues and the more uh, warmer, greener blues. Blues going towards violet more and the these ones going more towards green. And then there's the purples course cooler and then if you go to the reds so there would be also warm reds and cooler reds or this could be your warm violet and cool violet also wanted some oranges because I love I love warm colors bright colors as you can tell from this set and um, some yellows a little bit cooler yellow um, warmer yellow and again looking at value so you'll see uh, a sort of a dark middle in in each category of color there'll be a darker one to a lighter one so darker red violet through to the lighter one darker red through to the light dark to 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 light so there's one in the middle and the one that's lighter i also have got a black they call it the gray 36 i like mixing dark colors using this maybe as a base and then adding a color over it to give it color but also to give it the darkness and then this is my lightest light this is the one i was choosing between this and a cooler white and i found that this was the one i use sort of 80 percent of the time so that's why this one's in the set and then there's a sort of muted greenish gray color this is one of the last colors that I put in because I know that sometimes it's it's nice to have something that's a little bit more muted. You'll notice that these are all bright colors. And the way I work is that I use these colors to mix. I layer them. 
complementary colors gray each other. So I use that system a lot, which is why I like using bright colors that I can then mute down by layering. But I did add this one in. Also, it's, um, you know, dark middle light in a sort of muted black and white. So you can also do a sketch, say, in a black and white and a middle value. It's also got, I liked it because it's got a little bit of greenish. It's uh, the BGE. So it also has a sort of greenish quality, and I think that's useful in landscapes. But generally, I like to mix my colors and make the muted ones. So the important things were colors from each part of the color wheel and also a value range in each, because I'm very much about mixing value and value, lights and lights, darks and darks. There will be demos that I will do with this set. I have on my blog, I have posts using this set. So there will be a variety of subjects and we'll just, yeah, I really look forward to hearing how you find this set. And yeah, I'm excited. Oh, and of course, the first thing I'm going to do just before we go is after admiring this beautiful set, of course, the first thing I'm going to do is to start breaking them, <laughs> which always seems really sad, but that's the way, you know, I like to have the tip. I like working with the tip. And then I also like working with the side. So that means breaking. I do have a video on that, but what I do is I'll just move this out of the way. I just run my thumbnail or a fingernail around like that. Makes for a cleaner break. Lose some of that dust and then like that. And so that will go back in the set like that. So I'll use this using the side of my pastel and then I can also use the tip. So that's, um, and then usually I leave the papers. Eventually I might take, I'll take the paper right off and then put the paper in here, just so I know what the, um, the number is. And that's it. Ooh, gonna have fun with that. Let me know how it goes for you.